Yo, what is up Mzansi peeps? Welcome to Mzansi Popular Rides and welcome to the first used car review as part of the used car series. I'm set inside the 2020 BMW X3 20D and we are going to have a proper detailed review of this particular car. If you haven't yet done so, please don't forget to like and to subscribe to the channel for more dope content like this. And surely you want to subscribe because you might just miss out on your next car purchase. Welcome then everyone to the Bavarian, a vehicle that holds true to its maxim, the ultimate driving machine. All I can say is, once you drive a Beamer, there is no going back. Underneath the hood lies a 2 liter turbocharged diesel engine putting out 140 kilowatts of power and 400 newton meters of torque. BMW is known for underrating the performance figures of their vehicles, I would definitely not be surprised if that were the case here. This engine right here is an evolutionary masterpiece refined from years of engineering. Power is put to the ground via an 8-speed ZF gearbox. This BMW X3 is the X-Drive version, meaning you have 4-wheel drive at your fingertips at all times. Therefore, whether you find yourself in rainy weather or off-road, the X3 X-Drive system will give you traction all the way. 0 to 100 km per hour happens in 8 seconds. Let's launch it and see. So I'm currently at the robot and I'm going to put the vehicle in spot mode and I'm going to launch it as soon as the robot goes green. This will allow you to have a bit of an experience as to how much power the vehicle actually has. There we go. That's 100 kilometers an hour. Yeah! This BMW X3 features the M Sports package. This means that you get an aggressive and sporty front end. This vehicle is equipped with the full adaptive LED cornering headlights and fog lights. The Beamer also features the traditional BMW signature grills, the size of which is just on point, unlike some we have seen in other models. I personally like the M Sport stripes on the kidney grills, it just adds to the dynamic look of the car. However, the fog lights look like an afterthought in my opinion. Overall, the vehicle has a bold and confident front end. The BMW X3 is a vehicle of character. At night, the vehicle will lure you into driving it just to experience the welcome puddle lights. The BMW X3 features the deep shadow lines which goes well with the 20 inch BMW specific alloy wheels which complements the overall aesthetics of the car. However, don't be fooled by the side vents because they are fake. This vehicle features blacked out window trims and privacy glass. I must say that the vehicle has grown in size since the first generation BMW X3. When it comes to making fancy lights, nobody beats Audi and BMW. My favorite part of the rear are these massive full LED taillights, a sight to behold, especially during the night time. The vehicle features real dual exhaust pipes embedded in the M Sport specific lower bumper. However, that's just for show on a diesel car. I mean, at the end of the day, who buys a diesel engine for the exhaust sound? If you try to rev it up, all you'll hear is tar -tar -tar -tar, just like a tractor. While on the subject of tractors, while the BMW is actually idling, it sounds exactly just like a tractor. The tailgate is electronic and the vehicle has a boot capacity of 550 liters with the seats in place. Fold the seats away and you have 1600 liters of boot capacity. Before we move into the interior, let's see what the vehicle is like to drive. When it comes to urban driving scenarios, the Beamer is not particularly small, but it surely knows how to hide its bulk. I like the long bonnet view out of the front of the vehicle as you drive along. Driving the BMW on urban scenarios is a bit interesting because you find that the vehicle has got a balance of comfort as well as dynamic drive. The other interesting thing about it is the fact that should you ever need any power, you're going to get it instantly. Um, 
if you put it in eco mode you can actually feel that the vehicle's engine slips a bit but it's not really that bad at all i prefer however to have it in comfort mode because that's like the balance between a comfortable drive as well as one that's gonna allow you to have a bit of power should you ever need it so yeah where the vehicle becomes alive is on the highway put it into sport mode and you will immediately feel the bavarian come to life gear shifts are crispy and quick So we're now going on to the highway and I'm just quickly going to flick it into sport mode just to feel what it's like on the highway. Now the vehicle is in sport mode and you'll see quickly that uh, the gear shifts are held longer, you see, and they're a lot faster. And that's the beauty of the BMW. Everything is functional. You put it in comfort mode, it's gonna give you a comfort drive. You put it in eco pro mode, it's gonna give you a fuel efficient um, type of drive. And you put it into sport mode, then it's gonna go real fast just for you. But however, it's pointless. Um, a reason being that there's just way too much traffic to even feel what the vehicle can do and what it can't do. And on top of that, our top speed in South Africa is actually 120 kilometers per hour. And that's just about it. The vehicle is very responsive and the nice thing about it is that you never really ever feel that the vehicle is actually going fast. That's the beauty about the BMW X3. Remember that this machine is a machine meant for the German Autobahn. So anything less than 180, they can handle it very well. BMW claims a fuel average of 5.5 liters per hundred. However, with most of my driving, I was mostly seeing 8.9 liters per hundred to 9 liters per hundred. With the low profile tires, you will most likely hear the tires rolling. Moving on to the interior, the highlight for me was the full panoramic sunroof. You get the idea that the interior's dashboard was designed to be driver focused. The dashboard and door panels feature soft touch materials. The interior is lavished with leather from the door panels to the body hugging sports seats, which are equipped with lumbar support. The vehicle features the iDrive system with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capabilities, which can be operated through the touch screen as well as through the swivel wheel. Set nav with voice control are all embedded in the system. The full digital cockpit provides all information relating to the vehicle such as tire pressure as well as set nav guidance. Oh, and BMW contact center is always at your fingertips. I did not know how to reset the car's tire pressure monitoring system. However, using the car's onboard BMW telephonic services, I knew how to do it in no time. The interior of the BMW X3 is spacious, rear seats are comfortable and supportive and feature isofix anchor points. You have four USB ports consisting of three Type-C USB ports and one traditional USB port. I must say that the interior is such an amazing place to be in, especially at night. You get welcomed by the BMW welcome lights and once you're in the car, you are treated to an atmosphere with all-round mood lighting. There are ample amounts of leg and headroom at the rear and the full panoramic sunroof complements the interior and does not compromise headroom. Rear passengers are treated to their own climate control and the front passengers have dual climate control. We have now come to the end of the video and it's now time to address the cost of ownership. The vehicle you see in the video is currently available for sale at Haval Wood Meet and it will cost you 739,900. Total cost of ownership will set you back 18965 assuming an installment of 14465 at an interest rate of 12% over a period of 72 months for the 739900 A fuel bill of 2000 Rand as well as insurance of 2550 based on my profile. The vehicle has done 66,000 kilometers on the clock and I can tell you straight away that this vehicle was definitely well taken care of. 
If you're interested in this vehicle, be sure to contact Haval Woodmeet, the used car division, and ask for JP. Contact details will be included in the link description below. Thank you very much for watching and for getting to the end of the video. If you haven't yet done so, please don't forget to like and to subscribe to the channel for more dope content like this. Coming up next will be the T-Cross.